hi guys um welcome back to my channel my name is ifi artistry if this is your first time seeing my videos you're highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back okay guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i transformed myself i did myself makeup and it's actually it came out amazing and beautiful and nice let us go through it and see how i did the makeup okay guys so the first thing i did was to clean my face i already installed my wig so i did the installation myself i created this baby hair which is amazing don't you think so so i'm cleaning my face with a micellar water and the wipes so after that i'm going to be drying it up with my fan so clean your face thoroughly do not just like don't just do it just for doing sake clean it thoroughly after that i'm going to be using my lip balm so i'm going to be moisturizing my lips because it's very important for me to moisturize my lips keep my lips hydrated for the makeup after that i'm going to be using my serum my hydrating serum from what this watermelon hydrating serum or something so i'm going to be placing that on my face and after that i'm going to be using my this my brush to generally transfer it everywhere on my face you know like blend it into my skin very very well i i don't know for some reasons i just love this my ages don't you think so like i just love the ages it looks it looks so nice and different Okay guys, so after that, I'm equally going to be blending it into my skin. So like I'm going to be, I'm, I'm gently blending this into my skin. It's very important for you to be gentle. Okay guys, so after that, I'm going to be using the Embarrass Moisturizer. I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be placing that all over my face as well, especially the under eyes. So I'll make sure the moisturizer gets under my eyes very well. So I'm going to be blending it everywhere, every part of my face. It's so important as well. You know, like blending, 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 and making sure that it gets everywhere that it needs to get to. Okay, guys, so I'm just, you know, like blending this everywhere and making sure the moisturizer generally transfers everywhere on my face. You guys know what moisturizer does, right? So it adds hydration on the face because, you know, your face needs hydration throughout the makeup process. So make sure you hydrate your face enough. And not just hydrating the face make sure you blend and massage this product into the skin it's so important honestly so important and after that i'm going to be using the elf hydro hy hy hydrating primer so i'm going to be using that and be place i'm um, like blending it on my face like everywhere on my face i'm going to be blending it into my skin and i'll only make sure that this primer does not get under my eyes guys it's a primer so make sure it does not get under the eyes at all just make sure you blend it very well into the skin but avoid your under eyes because under eyes you don't put primers there at all so like you can put your moisturizer or the under eye cream but make sure that primers do not get there after that i'm going to be using the Baker primer is a mattifying primer so i'll just get a little bit of it out and then i'm going to use it to prime my brows my eyebrows because that place i don't want oil use but when i was doing my hydration and putting on the hydrating products they are getting there and there is a lot of hydration there so i'll have to use a mattifying primer to get rid of it after blending that i'm going to be using the uh, kiss beauty fix spray i'm going to be using that to hydrate and set everything i've done on my face so after doing that i'm going to be using my fan to lock it in it's so important that you use fan to equally blend and put this in okay guys haven't done this so i decided to do my brows first before i get into the skin work you guys already know how i do my makeup right so i normally do the skin work before the brows but on myself because i don't really i'm not really i don't really know how to do my brows so i decided to do brows first so for today i'm going to be using the Haga and esther brow gel and um i'm going to be using that and equally the uh, my this my angled brush so i'm using that to outline the brows so i'm just gently going to outline the brows i mean do not get offended do not get upset because to an extent the brows is not that perfect in fact like i created a perfect like i created a detailed video on how i created these brows and why i decided to do these brows this way <laughs> so today like before like uh, up to now like right now i have actually done another brows apart from this one and i have decided i will not be using this step anymore so like i do the brows after the i do the brows before the skin work before but i've changed so i'm going to be doing my skin work first and then after that i do my brows <laughs> 
so and i think in my detailed eyebrow video you guys, you guys are going to see the reason why i decided to change so after drawing the brows i fill it in and then i'm using my concealer the tat concealer to conceal my brows you guys will be wondering why i use so many like i use the tat concealer a lot now yeah i love that concealer like it's a very nice concealer and it's kind of my shade so i love it a lot so and once i get something that works of course that concealer will work for you because it's a nice concealer <laughs> It's a nice concealer so i have that and then that is it i use that and nuban beauty yeah so the, the nuban beauty goes in the light corner that has the lighter shade and that concealer is mostly my my shade so it's very close to my shade it's not even like that bright enough so after that i'm just concealing the other side of the eyebrows as well so like i mean i made i made some mistakes in these brows i wish like you guys have to watch the video the detailed video about these brows on how i did because there i was explaining the details like i was explaining how i actually did the brows like because there is a lot of error <laughs> while i was drawing these brows it was it was a it was a fight i was really fighting with these brows like honestly it was a huge fight so afterwards i i went ahead I, i'm hoping that this this the brows should drop first before this video you know like the, how i did the brows you should probably upload first before this video whichever one comes first okay guys so after that i'm just going to be blending this you know at this point i feel like i even did a good job with the brows but like you know how after doing these brows like one devil just came, come from somewhere and convinced me to go and change something and that's when i go there and i ruin the whole brows then but that was it it is what it is so i uh, yeah i wish i did not but i did yeah i actually destroyed the whole brows because like i did a good job in these brows because in, if you know how i was even like skeptical like can you even see like i good they did a good job at the end of the day even if i was trying to learn i did a good job at the end of the day but over sabi did not allow me i have to still go and do something that destroyed the brows which is not it doesn't make sense okay guys so i'm just trying to blend and set this with powder so i'm done setting and it looks nice i think i already did that so it looks nice like i'm just trying to chalet yeah to show you guys whatever <laughs> so after that i'm using the nars conceal the foundation and nars foundation and the um oh my god did how did i forget the the other brand honestly skipped my mind right now i can't even remember so i use the two foundations guys sorry just go back to the video and see the name of the foundation so i mix the two of them together to get this shade that i'm not sure that is even my undertone i don't know how i missed it but I, I i honestly don't think this way i did i didn't mix it together i didn't mix it very well because the the two shades they actually my shade i'm supposed to get my undertone like when i mix it i mix them so i don't know what happened or maybe probably my video i don't know so because i'm just seeing that i didn't really match that well from this end from my end i'm just seeing it now okay guys so i'm just going ahead to blend this uh, foundation into my skin but honestly when i'm doing my makeup i don't really see all these things i don't see i'm seeing like a kind of a yellow on the tone and all that okay guys so after that i'm using my concealer the nuban beauty concealer is in the shade 043 and then the i'm using the that concealer honestly for some reason i don't even know the shade of this that concealer and is one of my lovely and favorite concealer i love the concealer a lot the Tarte Concealer, I love it because I love the, just a very, is a lovely concealer. The Tarte Concealer is a lovely concealer, honestly. Okay, so after that, I'm, I begin to blend it into my skin. And I'm just blending it into the skin. And quietly blending because uh, you guys already know, I, I'm always scared when I have so many product on my face. Even at this point, I don't even have so many product on my face. The, the concealer is not even much. It's just very, it's very small, very tiny and all that. So just blending and blending to make sure that everything is okay. I love how everything is coming out anyway. So guys, 
just continue to wash i'm just using my beauty beauty blender to blend the concealer in the under eyes this this that concealer you guys are you guys see how it's easily bl like it's very soft like i I, I feel like i should just get out I, I should i should just get the lighter shade to be using that in the inner corner because like the concealer is just a very nice i don't know maybe i should even stick to this brand i don't even use any other brand <laughs> maybe okay guys so after that i'm using the this um the i think it's a blot beauty foundation and the uh, uh jade Dries foundation so i mix the both of them together for my contour so i am just quietly bl blending it on my face just to create a contour okay yeah so that is, i'm just after doing that i'm just blending into my skin you know like just to blend it and blend and blend and blend and cre it created this amazing contour which is so nice like yeah you know whenever i get this contour when i blend this and i get the contour shade or the the the, the way the contour should be it makes me so happy and so am amazed or something okay guys I i'm keep going and as i'm still going and everything um um so i'm just i created the contour in the second side and then the forehead and you know this forehead my forehead is somehow so i'm just mixing the two shades together that's what i'm trying to say like the contour that i mix is actually it's a little bit darker than me so i'm mixing it with my foundation my foundation that i mix in the mixing plate first just to make sure that it's not way too dark because like i can use contour that is too dark i'm not that dark Sometimes I, I used to feel like I'm dark, but when I begin to do my makeup, I realize that the product that will work on me does not show that I'm dark, like I'm not that dark. Okay, guys, so after that, I'm using the Color Drain um, a blush. This blush has honestly won my heart. This blush has honestly won my heart. I don't know how else I'm going to say that. <laughs> so I feel like I just added too much and that's what I'm shouting. So I added too much. So I picked it out with too much, too much passion. And then it was much. Even on my forehead, can you even see like, so I'm just using the contour to see if I can get out the shades on my forehead. I don't know. It was just too, I don't even know what happened this day. Like I added the blush too much, like, and I'm beginning to try my best to see if I can blend it out. So like, yeah, because the, the blush, the blush, you have to be careful not to overdo it because like it's very, it's very, very pigmented. And I love the blush because it adds this kind of a glassy, you know, like, I don't know. It has that glassiness that it adds to my makeup that I love so much. So after everything, I'm done with the blush, I'm done with contour, I'm now beginning to blend the remaining concealer under my eyes, just to blend it out now and get ready to set. So that's what I'm doing basically. So I'm just, you know, like doing everything, blending and blending and blending and blending and blending, blending the under eyes, getting it ready so that I can go ahead and um, set with my powder. So when I'm done blending everything, I'm going to be using my setting powder in the shade Cinnamon. That is the Merak Cosmetics setting powder in the shade Cinnamon. I'm going to be using that to set my under eyes. I'm um, just going to... So this Cinnamon is actually my shade. Like that's the shade that is my shade on any setting powder that I've actually seen. Yeah, I've seen a lot of setting powders. This is the one that is exactly without mixing word my shade yeah so this is the exact shade that i'm supposed to be using so yeah i have to uh, i just I, like i'm just looking at this like can you even see how the shade just matched without even like leaving cast like that's one thing i love about mirac mirac product like it will just set the under eyes without leaving any cast or any it's a very good setting powder <laughs> So I just blend, I'm blending every other place that I placed, um, I highlighted and I'm equally setting it with the setting powder. Okay guys, so after that I'm using my brush to just pick my powder, my powder shade and I'm setting my the rest of my face. So I'm using the Royal, one Royal powder, powder palette that I, I used to have. So 
see me traveling i traveled with a lot of things <laughs> i travel with a lot of things because like yeah i have all these things why would i leave it i come here start buying new ones right now i can't do that so i'm using this loya powder to set my face and i love to use palette a lot because in palette i don't have to be picking powders if i get this powder i will go and get this powder so when you get a good powder palette you have everything you need inside it so i love pal palettes a lot so i'm setting with a contour shade from the same palette actually so i'm just setting um the contour and then after that i'm going to be using my blush so i'm I'm using two different blush one is from girls corner and the other one is from what was i've forgotten that brand's name like it just a pr package and at the end of the day it turned out that that product was so nice like i'm using the two blush to you know like highlight or add blush to my face yeah okay guys so i feel like the blush that i added was too much and i'm using my brush to blend it out so i'm using the extra blush to blend it brush to blend it out yeah because if it's too much you can just use your blush like a brush that is clean you can see right so this brush i don't even add any product on it so i just use it to swipe on top of the place i added my brush and it was able to get out the product that is that was excess okay guys so i'm equally do a contouring my nose my nose bridge and um, you know i already created a contour line before so i'm just running through that line again so running through the line will just give me what i want like it will just create back the line and everything will be fine so after that i'm dusting out the excess from my under eyes and i'm going to be using my lola messia setting powder uh, to bake the face yeah like i'm just going to be dropping the powder on my face you guys already know lola messia is a very good setting powder lovely setting powder like nothing beats that powder like very very lovely yeah so i'm using that to bake my face and um just anywhere the places i don't i highlighted i'm just going to be baking the places those places yeah it's actually is actually amazing it's an amazing powder and it's actually contour and chiseled my face you can see how everything is looking nice okay guys so afterwards i'm using my tat concealer and my nuban beauty i don't know why these two these two shades have become a combo i'm not going to leave anytime soon so i'm using those two shades together to create my eyeshadow base um so i decided to so i'm my... blending the eyeshadow base um, in so i'm just tapping that on my eyelid and it's of uh, like today i just wanted to create something amazing on my eyes because all this way that i've been creating my eyeshadow looks it's always like so mild like nothing no the, my transition is not even showing like nothing so i decided to create something amazing today so i'm going to be making my transition deep so that's why i'm being careful in blending this eyeshadow primer so because i want everything to pop out i actually had a detailed video on this eyeshadow primer uh, on this eyeshadow creation on my video as like i said okay guys so i'm going to be trans um creating a deep transition so that's why i'm using a more precise and, and brush a more precise um brush to create add my transition so i'm just trying to like uh, create a demarcation like just like a a crease line yeah i'm trying to create a crease line so i'm just blending that on with the intention to blend it out anyway so i'm just creating a like an, an outer view you can see how i'm creating the outer v yes yeah, so the outer view i mean is not as neat as my outer view would be but i know that i'm going to blend it out so afterwards i pick up another another brush and another shade to a lighter shade a more lighter shade so i'm using that to buff out the dark brown shade that i have so i'm using that to blend it out and so sorry guys like i'm going i'm not gonna try this next time because i was actually visually looking down all through this eyeshadow look I'm, I'm, that's not going to happen again so next time i'm going to be doing eyeshadow i'll try and make sure that i'm looking up so that you guys can be seeing me more so afterwards after uh, buffing out and blending out now i'm adding more darkness dark shade on the outer v 
their color because like i wanted it to be more pronounced i mean the outer v i wanted it to be more pronounced afterwards i'm using a bigger brush to equally blend out so i keep running through of blending out adding more blending adding more just that's what i just keep doing because i wanted i think at this point it was not even about teaching it was more like i want to achieve a good eyeshadow that was my major goal at least is it not somebody that knows how to do it that's going to teach <laughs> so i wanted to achieve a more subtle eyeshadow look that's just the point so because if i'm just doing it because i'm teaching I'm, i know i'm recording I, I would have been careful so that i would do it in a way that people will understand but like it was not even that for me it was at least let me see if i can even achieve something nice so i think because i did a good job down i feel like i did a good eyeshadow so next time i'm going to be careful so using this palette you see all these tiny tiny small small palettes that i have they are they are the love of my life right now for eyeshadows because oh my god not that not just that they are even like easy to carry about they are so pigmented they are so lovely the colors are so beautiful like this eyeshadows is from um Oh, what's the brand jesus color drain yeah color drain is the brand so uh this is in the, i don't know the i don't even know the, so it's, it came in a big box this eyeshadow was it was like four this is one of it so and um so i'm just i placed that nude shade there so i'm trying to blend it out to make sure that everything works so like i created this eyeshadow is is actually an amazing is is amazing is lovely it's fine like it came out as planned yeah i know that if i'm creating this on somebody probably i would have done a better job yeah <laughs> i would have done a more better job because i feel like the main eyeshadow didn't actually get to where it was supposed to get to i don't know why i keep telling you guys my faults <laughs> we are the faults i don't even know why i'm mentioning them but i mean it's not it's not that big it's not that big of a hustle so guys after that i'm just beginning to line the eyes so this is where i have another issue lining the eyes yeah it doesn't work for me yet i don't know what to do i don't know how to do it but i know i'm going to figure out something later but for now i don't even know how to line the eyes i've tried so many times still i've not gotten it like every other thing i probably know oh i'm going to do it this way i'm going to try this the way next 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 time but like lining the eyes is one that i've not actually seen what to do if i get i've tried different methods but none of them seems to work in so if you know a way that i personally can line my eyes and it's going to be easier and better for me please let me know because i don't know what to do anymore i'm just using like uh, the merak cosmetics charcoal pencil to line but it's not working I, I only use it to line the under eyes but the upper part of the eyes my eyes will not stop blanking so because of that it's been difficult for me to align if you know a way to treat somebody that has blink blink eyes let me know because i've tried everything possible and it's not working okay guys so after that i'm just fixing my lashes i've done the lining of the under eyes i've blended out and i've done everything so now i'm fixing the lashes so i'm just going to be fixing that nothing serious actually is not that serious yet all right guys so like i said it's not it's not that deep so i just fixed the lashes and i use my hand to fix you guys already know i don't use tweezer and unfortunately i don't know why but i don't use my tweezer and after that i'm using my mac powder palette powder i think so did i show that i didn't even look so i'm using my mac powder to set my face like you know like set the rest of the face at the end of the day because the mac powder is actually a finishing powder i hope you guys know that so the mac powder is a finishing powder and um and after that i use I, i'm just using it on the rest of the face i'm just dusting out the rest of the face and um uh, that is it basically guys so i'm um, oh my god like at the end of the day i just love how soft and smooth this my this makeup is like the makeup is just so lovely so i'm using my cheek glaze on the face to just you know like add uh, a little bit of glowy you know how i have a very dry skin so i'm using this cheek glaze to add glow and freshness on my face so 
is all actually needed. So after that, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury spray to hydrate my face. So I'm using it, of course, generously on my face. Like you guys already know, like the certain spray, I don't joke with certain sprays. So I'm going to use it. You see how like every, all this powder that have been there and have been shining, everything just disappeared. Once you use a certain spray, everything disappears and you become a fresh and a new person. So after that, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Glow. I'm going to be adding the Fenty Beauty Glow on my face. So I'm going to be smiling and add the glow. And this glow is just so lovely. <laughs> you see, this Fenty Glow is lovely. It's an amazing glow. It's amazing. Actually. Okay, guys. So, um, oh my God, like, can you even see? Like, everything glows. Like, everything is lovely and amazing. So guys, after that, I'm I'm going to be lining, I'm going to be working on my lips. So I'm lining the lips with my pencil, Davis pencil, which is wonderful and amazing. So in this look, like everything that I just wanted to achieve, it came out as planned, honestly. Okay guys, so I'm just going to be doing that. I'm going to be lining the lips with the Davis pencil. Mm, I was in the, in the shade 003. I was thinking that. I didn't believe that it was going to work out. I, I was just like, let me try, let me try because I wanted to achieve achieve a brown this particular brown shade. Yeah, that's what I want to achieve, and it was to my greatest surprise that I actually did achieve that. Like that was it gave me what I want. So I was I was shocked to my core. Okay, guys, so I'm just lining that lips, just basically doing that, and after that I just go ahead to blend it out blend everything out just to give it a little a, a very lovely blend and after that i'm going to be using the juvia's place concealer and this color drain lip stain so i added that in in the inner corner of the lips and you know that there's concealer on this so like it's not going to be as matte as the as a lip stain that will just easily dry up so it's not going to be like that so i have to quietly keep blending this on and blending it on well, I was looking at this lip is looking a little bit whitish, so I, I ha go ahead and added the color drain orange shade as well. So I added the orange shade just so uh, it it up and you know like cool it down more because I don't know it was looking a little bit way over the board. So when I was done, I have to use the fancy gloss. I added my fancy gloss on the lips to just you know like pop and mm, make everything nice so i'm just i'm equally using my brush to generously like spread it everywhere just to get the 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 shade everywhere and after that of course the end of the day my soap pro spray and of course you know that once you add the soap pro spray like everything becomes so good that's so nice of course <laughs> okay guys can you even see can you guys look at this look can you guys like take a look at this look makeup and tell me how lovely do you think this look is because i feel like this look is amazing i feel like this look is nice what do you think just tell me what you think about it tell me how you feel about the lips do you think the lips is the, like not just the lips like the makeup in general do you think the makeup is nice i'm dancing and i'm enjoying and i'm happy because i feel like this makeup is wonderful tell me what you think about it in the comment section i'm going to be reading and be listening bye Thank you.